in the house. And also, a lot of his colleagues started to feel, there's this guy, he's this black guy, and every time he goes out, doesn't matter what plane he goes out in, he seems to come back. There must be something about him. He's got some sort of black magic around him. And he used to, he used to joke about this. This was, the big, this was the big joke. Let's fly with Johnny. He's always going to come back. But on his 27th mission, things changed. On the 18th of November, 1943, Johnny's plane took off with hundreds of other Allied aircraft for the first night of the Battle of Berlin. On the way there, the aircraft was struck by anti-aircraft fire from the ground. The shell burst beneath the plane and as it exploded, shrapnel flew through the fuselage. The crew took on their targets and dropped their bombs. But as they flew back over Germany, they were attacked again. The plane was handicapped, so this fighter picked it up and started in it, flying around, away from it. And basically, the plane was on fire. The captain realised it could not be saved, and he gave the order to bail out. He was the second last man to jump, and he landed in some woods. He hit some lights in the distance, some sort of tavern. And outside the tavern there were bicycles. He still cycled off along the road. Now you have to bear in mind that he'd lost a lot of blood by this stage. But he saw a barn, threw the bicycle into a river, and he went and hid. Later on in that night, he heard some German voices outside. They started shouting out, come out. Initially he didn't move, and they started shooting into the barn. So he came out, held his hands up. So how did the Germans react when they saw their prisoner? They looked at this man, he was six foot four, he's a black man, and an officer's RAF uniform. And they said to him, what are you doing here? How come you've got an RAF uniform on? You're from Africa. And he said, I'm from Sierra Leone, I'm here fighting for my king. Johnny Smythe was interrogated and then taken to hospital. He said there were a couple of German officers in the hospital who were also being treated for wounds and he ended up having conversations with one of them. And this officer said to him, Johnny, you know, you are lucky. Once you are treated, you will go into a prisoner of war camp and you